My name is Gerald Orban. I'm the, uh, the principal architect of Black High Technologies and co-founder as well. <laughs> Why did you build this thing? We built this thing so people don't need to know about vectors and math and quaternions because those things suck and no one wants to learn them. <laughs> Why'd you build this thing? Uh, we built Black Eye Technologies camera plug-in to kind of help people find a, a way to express their, their cinematic ideas and goals inside of the game engine in a way that they don't need to understand and learn how to program or, or figure out vector mathematics to make cameras point at things in a scene. It is it is a clean way to, to take how we naturally kind of think about uh, cinema and how things compose and how things track with each other inside of your scene and make it happen uh, inside of the game engine without um, any kind of deep knowledge about what it takes to actually achieve that in the mathematics and the algorithm. What are some of the challenges around building this? I think one of the hardest parts uh, we have kind of encountered is finding a way to kind of naturally map the thinking of not just a cinematographer, but anyone who is just familiar with how things work uh, in, on the screen in a way that doesn't completely overwhelm people and make it impossible for them to figure out what is the right way to, to tweak this knob or this value to achieve the desired results uh, on frame. And it's, it's very, very easy for us to go down a deep rabbit hole and just add every option and every knob and dial to kind of like make, make this the shot happen or track the subject. And we have to fight that impulse and find a way to simplify it down on the most core concept and kind of creative wavelength we want to expose to, to make things happen on screen with Black Eye. Tell us about the endless cockpit emoji in Slack. Yeah. So it's a, it's a reference to the movie Airplane where they have this like endless panning shot of an airplane cockpit and it's supposed to just show you like how complex it is to operate an airplane. And it's kind of a check against any kind of impulse we have to add new, new uh, variables, knobs or dials to the plugin to, to address a new feature or a new need in it. We need to kind of like always think about that and simplify and reduce the number of ex exposed variables uh, versus add more. Simple's hard. Yeah, simple's very hard. Sometimes people say, I'm just going to build my own camera system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderfully rewarding uh, problem. I've spent pretty much my whole career in that space. And you can do a lot of things and you can end up being a very complex system and sometimes can be quite fragile. I'm not saying it's always going to end up like that, but um, you learn very quickly that you need to build a very robust system that's resilient to change. And if you're coming at this fresh, it's a very, very difficult problem to tackle. So how is Black Eye different than the giant ball of code camera? The way Black Eye is different is that it's, a, it's an a la carte uh, list of modules and features that you can actually add and append to already existing cameras in the Unreal Engine. We don't want to completely overwrite and remove people's ultimate authority and control from what happens inside of Unreal, but we want people to add these behaviors that allows them to achieve their, their filmic and uh, cinematic goals for what's going on on the screen. What's your favorite part about building the Black Eye camera system? One of my, like the, my actually absolute favorite part of building this, the Black Eye system is trying to reduce the airplane cockpit and then translate that airplane cockpit into the actual algorithm that produces the final shots that you see on screen. There's so much nuance and complexity in turning those simple kind of values that you're manipulating in either sequencer or the detail outliner into what actually happens in the operation of the camera in the scene. And getting that right and making that efficiently so you can have hundreds, potentially thousands of these cameras operating all at once is, is probably one of my favorite things. Who do you see as the user for the Black Eye camera plugin? So I see this the Black Eye being useful for anyone who's looking to not only just punch more above their weight than they otherwise would because of what we allow them to do and how we allow them to express their ideas more easily in software, but also allow them to do it with a smaller team and with less time. So naturally, it's just anyone who wants to do more with less, because that's a soundbite everyone likes. <laughs> what is quaternion math? Quaternion math. Well, uh, that's, that's an interesting way of being able to express uh, rotations on a uh, four-dimensional hypersphere. Uh, uses a little bit of imaginary math, but in the end, it allows you to combine rotations in a way that is more robust to um, to, to gimbal lock and they combine more efficiently. 
How do you feel about bringing this technology to the Unreal Engine? I mean, I'm super stoked for it. Uh, there's so many people using Unreal. Uh, between game and film projects right now, they're all building incredible content. And what we're going to be bringing to them is going to allow them to unlock more cool projects, more cool ways to use cameras in games and films that we haven't seen yet. So it's going to be wonderful.